everyone, welcome back to Clever Fox Reads. I'm Shelby, if you don't know who I am, and um, yeah, today I'm going to be filming a video because I went a little crazy at Barnes & Noble and I spent a lot more money than I should have, but today I will be filming my little haul. So let's see what I got from Barnes & Noble. Uh, the first... Sorry if it's crinkly in the background. Um, the first book that I got from Barnes & Noble was The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying, tidying Up, uh, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo. And that's what it looks like. I bought this book because we're moving houses um, pretty soon, and which means my background's going to change. But... Um, I just want to make sure that I keep everything super clean and organized because that's a problem with me. Um, I think this book will help a lot. The second book that I got is It by Alexa Chung. This is a beautiful copy of it. I don't know if it will focus on it. It's a beautiful copy anyways. Um, and I've just really been wanting to read this book lately and... My friend's sister had a copy when I went to San Francisco and I was so tempted to steal it from her but then I'm afraid she would have caught on so I bought my own. Uh, let's see, the next book that I got was this really adorable Barnes Noble Classics version of um, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and I bought this one because as I said in my previous video, if you saw that, I absolutely love Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and Sherlock Holmes books. I still need to read this one. And I bought it as a gift, actually, because my sister is soon to have a baby. And, of course, the crazy aunt that I'm going to be, I'm going to read to the baby every night or as much as I can and um, give her tons of books that she can start a collection with, a little library. So this will be the book that I give her. And it's adorable. It's still in the plastic, so yeah. But the back says, My name is Sherlock Holmes. It is my business to know what other people don't know. That's a little quip from the book. Oh, and it was only ten dollars. Yeah. Um let's see. The next book that I got was oh Oh, okay, so the next book that I got was this Every Man's Library version of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And you guys know that in my last video I said I'm going to be reading Sense and Sensibility, which I am. I'm like one-fourth of the way done. Actually, more like one-third. But I love it, so I was like, I need to buy the next Jane Austen novel because I'm feeling in a Jane Austen mood right now, and this one is beautiful cover. I don't know if you can see it. But it's really pretty. So yeah, so I picked that one up. And then the last book that I got was... Oh, <laughs> the last book that I got, because I did say I was in a Jane Austen type feeling vibe. I don't know how you say it. I guess I can't speak English. Um, I bought this book. And it is called... A Jane Austen Education, How Six Novels Taught Me About Love, Friendship, and the Things That Really Matter by William Derisewich. Mm -hmm. I obviously butchered that last name. Let me try. Derisewich? <laughs> I'm not going to try anymore. It's horrible. But I'll put the information to these books like below so because I'm just embarrassing myself by speaking any further but anyways after I read these two Jane Austen novels obviously I will want to read this because I like little companion type books you know I don't know I guess I'm just a nerd like that but anyways those are the um let's see five books that I got from Barnes and Noble all in one uh shopping haul yeah I bought all these at once and I spent a fortune. Like, I'm too embarrassed to even tell you how much I spent. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!